Hey all, thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, we're making a 3D printed Mario by Bast R, found on Thingiverse. Let's crack on with the video. For the eagle-eyed viewers out there, you may have noticed that Mario is missing his signature sideburns on his right-hand side. I didn't notice this during the make or until the very end. So yeah, this will be a new look for Mario. When I'm removing giblets from 3D prints, they are fairly annoying and simple, but in this part of the hand, it was a nightmare. They were jammed in so deeply, I couldn't fit the snippers in. But yeah, it wasn't worth doing to be honest, because you never notice it, but I still persisted and did it anyway. Oh well. Now usually moving supports is quite satisfying for me. I love the snap, the pull and the snip of it, but this was an absolute nightmare. The density on the supports were 30%, which is way too much, especially for a print like this where it's quite stable and there's not too many sharp turns and curves. For now, I'm gonna reduce it. But yeah, this was an absolute nightmare. I am cussing at this moment in time because this took way too long to remove, especially for something so simple. Now, once again, in this video full of mistakes, Mario's signature moustache did not print correctly, unfortunately. It broke and snapped off, so the one you'll see at the end in the glamour shots will be the reprint and the second one I printed. Oh well. Now it's time to give Mario a little haircut, get those filament boogers and giblets off, have them looking fresh and clean shaven just like me, um, attaching the eyes together, super simple, super satisfying, let's pop them in his head.
Now, I never considered Mario as a horror character, but with these eyes staring at me, looking straight into my soul, I've got nightmare fuel for a couple of weeks. Thanks, Nintendo. Love ya. Now what was really surprising about this build was how easy it was to put together. I didn't realise it was a snap and build sort of build, it's actually movable. You can move the arms up and down, twist the wrists, I thought it would all be stuck in place. Um, which was really good, um, it's almost like an action figure almost. Um, I will try and do some animation of it in the showcase slash glamour shots and see what we can do with it. Also, I like <laughs> the way the hair fit. Um, it looked unusual, I've never seen Mario without his hair and while doing this, I think the bald look actually suits him. Let me know what you think in the comments. Nintendo, I think we might have found his new look. Um, but yeah, I think it's a good look for Mario. I'm just sanding out the hat now because as I mentioned before, I did 30% density supports and it was struggle to get off and when putting them off, they left a lot of marks and giblets on the hat itself. So I'm just rubbing it down with sandpaper. I use my heat gun later on off camera just to remove the blemishes, which is a really good tip. Heat does remove all scratches and stuff off PLA, which is really great to know. Um, and yeah, just put it all together, put the M on, let's go. This was a great build, love Mario as a character, thanks Nintendo. Now it's time for the glamour shot slash animation. Let's go! Thanks for watching this video, please like and subscribe. If you get a chance, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Mr. Campbell Prince. It's been great spending time with you, so sweet baby G!